Hey everybody, this is Mr. McKee again with CTI 120OW online version. I want to go ahead and go through the Networking Essentials uh, Lab 2.3.4.3 building a Ethernet crossover cable. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do, I've already brought it up. Alright, since you guys might not have two PCs at home, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, build this crossover cable. Alright. I'm going to go down through here. All right, what we need is one length of cable, either a Cat5 or Cat6E, which my cable is right here. And if I look on it, I can actually see, all right, it shows right there, Category 5E. So if you guys can kind of see that a little bit, maybe not. Let's see if it how it works. Nope, it won't. It won't focus that great. But it has category 5E, uh, Belkin.com. Right, so I know it's a Cat 5E cable. Uh, 24 gauge, four pairs. All right, copper inside. All right, so I need one length of cable, two RJ45 connectors, which are right here. Kind of like right there. There's a little clip on one end. When we put them together, we're going to have the clip on the bottom. All right. So two of those. I got a nice pair of um, strippers, crimpers. All right. Made by Paladin Tools. All right. They ratchet together, so they won't let go until you actually ratchet the uh, ends all the way down. And I got cable testers. Which are actually tone toners, and also I have another set of better, uh, also made by Paladin Tools, and they're upside down, so they're right there. So I can test all the wires after we make our cable. All right. So wire cutter, right? Wire stripper. Crimper, I got an all-in-one tool, which does a good job. Um, two PCs, Windows 10, we don't have those. All right, so I'm going to go all the way down. All right, right here, it actually tells you you're either going to use two standards, the TIA, EIA, 568A, All right, or you're going to use the B. And mostly, here's the A configuration. And what you're looking at right here is with the, the little clip down. All right. All right. And then there's the B right there. Clip's also down. And one of the reasons you put the clip down, too, is when you slide the, the wires in, you can actually um, see what, what the wire colors are going in because sometimes they'll jump over to the other side. All right. So this is what we're going to do. All right, make a crossover cable just like that. All right, so you can hook directly computer to computer without a switch, or you can hook switch to switch. Uh, a lot of times these days, and let me see where it notes it, your um, your equipment, right? Like right here, the Cisco 2960 switch has auto sensing turned on by default. Therefore, connecting two 2960 switches together will work with either, either a crossover or straight through cable. And a straight through cable, I usually refer to it as a patch cable. All right, and that has either T568A on both ends or T568B on both ends. And I always use B. I've memorized that the wire colors, so I always go with that. All right, just stay con stay um, consistent with your wire colors. All right. So first thing I want to do, and now I'm going to go by the instructions just because these instructions are good, but. Let's go down here. All right. All right, now starting at E, ensure that the cable wires are still in the correct order. Let's go back a little bit. All right, cut off a piece of cable to the desired length. Got that? Mine's about, about three foot, give or take. All right, let's see. Remove about two inches of the cable jacket from both ends. 
do you see on my 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 stripper is like right at that little the end of this cable right there where I'm pointing at with my pointer. All right. So if I put this through the end like that, and I'm gonna make it where you guys can see it. I'm not a very good video person yet. I'm gonna get there though. All right. There's about two inches. Push that down. You don't want to overdo it, but you push it down. Pull the jacket off. All right. Big thing is don't go get too crazy with the jacket or you drill. Uh, nick the ends. You want to make sure the ends aren't nicked. All right, so right there, I've got four pairs of wires. Green, green with a white stripe. Uh, brown, brown with white stripe. Orange, with orange with white stripe. And a blue, and a blue with white stripe. All right, so that's our one end. We're going to do like a mass production, so we're going to do both ends at the same time. Like assembly line here. All right, so there's our other end. All right, those are a little short. The longer you make them, you waste a little bit of um, cable, but it makes it way easier to put these together. All right, so untwist them. Okay, it's good to do this like every day to practice, but I know a lot of people don't know how to do this anymore but all right so there's that set and when you're looking at the wire colors only the orange pair and the green pair swap between the two ends all right all the other the brown and the blue pair they stay the same um, positions So that's what we got right here. Now I'm going to do the B on this side because, well, actually, I'll do A since A's on the left. All right, so green with white, green, all right, orange with white, blue. It takes a little while just to get it to get this where it's green with white, green, orange with white, blue, blue with white. If you kind of twist them a little bit, you get them together. All right. The big thing is get them all lined up. See how that one's curved around. First time you do this, don't expect it to be like super easy, but when you get it down, it's going to be a lot easier. All right. Hopefully this is going to cooperate for me. And then the end is brown, white, brown. Sometimes you just got to hope for the best on this. All right. I kind of like hold my fingers on there, make sure I keep them straight, and if there's something that's... See some, the way these are twisted, sometimes it's hard to get them exactly right. Alright, so I'm going to kind of push those down. You're going to cut about, you're going to leave about a half an inch on there. So, because you want that, you want this, this wire you put the cover on for the end. You want it biting on the jacket a little bit with this little end piece. This little end piece on the end. Okay, but also you want the wires all the way pushed up inside of the um, contacts. Alright, so this contacts right there. Alright, so let's just check the wire colors again. Green with white, green. Orange with white, blue. Blue with white, orange. Brown with white, brown. Okay, and what I do, there's my wires pretty flat. All right, come through here, and I kind of got to. This is the only problem with these cutters. All right, I want to cut off. So I'm going to 
cut. You guys can see it. I'm just gonna cut this end off, and you gotta cut it off pretty flat. So it's not getting great yet, but it's getting there. That's about. I'm gonna chop it off just a little bit more. You can see now the wires are starting to flip over a little bit. All right, kind of wiggle them together. So that one looks really good now. All right, just make sure your wire colors don't flip over. When you push it in, right here, and make sure you get all the wire colors you can see. And this will be almost impossible to see on the camera. All right, orange or green with white, green, orange with white, blue, blue with white, orange, brown with white, brown. Okay. So. these in. All right, I'm actually going to pause this video real quick and take this call and be right back. All right, so I'm back. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and I've got about three quarter inch of just move this camera. All right, got all my wires correctly together. I'm going to put them in the little tab down. Let's see if I get them in there. And the big thing when you're doing this, you just have to look at it from the top and just make sure all your wires are still in correctly. Pick a little, little bit. All right. I look at the ends of the cable. You should see all shiny copper through there. All right. It's hard to see it on this on the video, but have that and also where it clamps down on the actual jacket you want to make sure that jacket's actually under there not just bare wires all right and make sure they're on the end there's shiny wires you might have to twist it just a little bit this takes a lot of practice but let's see orange white orange I'm sorry Green with white, or green with white, green, orange with white, blue, blue with white, orange, brown with white, brown. Okay, that for my T five sixty eight A side. And I'm gonna hold down on this and on my crimper where it says eight eight pin, the eight P right there. Push that in. Don't let the cables or the wires back up. And I'm gonna crimp clamp down on that thing. All right. Do it once. Do it again. All right. So, if I look at the ends of my wires, and it's not going to focus very good, but look down from the top. Make sure your wire colors still match up. They look good. Crimp down really good on the jacket. You can see the blue jacket through the through the see-through uh, end. All right, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and switch over. All right, and now that was the hard side for me. I know the the B side from memory. Orange with white, orange. And if you go with, up to like a Cat 6 cable, it's going to be a little bit harder to use just because it's a little bit thicker. Orange with white, orange, green with white, blue. Okay, orange, white, orange, green, with white, blue, blue, 
let's play green. Brown with white, brown. Alright, kind of look at the bottom, make sure your wires aren't. Alright, that looks okay. Twist them a little bit. That might work. I don't really like how that looks, but get kind of work them in. You should. They should be all flat where you crimp them at. The ends are a little bit bent, but let's see. Let's see. Orange with white, orange, green with white, blue, blue with white, green, brown with white, brown. Okay. Get them real flat. I think that's probably gonna work, even though the green wire doesn't look that great. Alright, so I hold the end right, right like this. My crimper it has a cutter on the end. And I put it through. Estimate about three quarter inch. Alright, cut off pretty good. Alright, that's a little long. I'm going to cut it off again. And it didn't work for me. Easy with that. All right, that looks good. All right, so there we go. Push them through. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Looks good. Push them through all the way again. All right, look on the ends. Oh, not seeing shiny ends sticking out yet. Uh, it's borderline. You can twist a little bit. Hmm. It's going to make a connection. I just don't. Not crazy about it. All right. Push it in there. Look at the ends a little bit. I see all shiny ends. Crank it down. Crank it down again. All right, look at it. All right, right there. I think we're good. I'll put my tester up. Plug one into the tester. Doesn't matter which ends. Plug the other into the tester. So it's saying one and two is crossed. That's right. It's saying three and six are crossed. That's right. Four and five are okay. And seven and eight are crossed. They should not be crossed. Let's look at this thing. There we go. All right. That's why orange, with brown with white, brown, brown with white, brown. Okay, so problem I had, everything was working. Brown with white, brown got flipped over with the browns and the brown with white got flipped over. So I'd have to do it again. But if you do it, you got to practice it. Even when I do it all the time, I need to practice it more. But that's how you'll put those together. All right. And just to show you, with this tester, if I test a crossover cable, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to redo the whole cable, but turn this cable on, test it. Alright, 
can see that one and two are crossed. All right, that's actually what we're going to see because right here, one and two are crossed with. All right, so that's it. All right, so I'm going to stop this video. Pretty much all you have to do is which part of making the cables did you find the most difficult? Probably a lot of it. And why did you? Why do you have to learn how to make a cable if you can easily buy pre-made cables? Well, if you're down to your last cable, you don't have any more. You'll definitely have to do um, make a cable. And also, if you have a, a cable color, if you're color coordinating everything, and you can't get that specific cable color, uh, you just want to put an end on. It. All right. So it's good to know how to do it, and you don't have to wait a couple of days to get one from Amazon or wherever you order them from. All right, thanks for watching. That's about it. Just make sure you submit the last two questions. Uh, I'll have a submission link on Moodle. Thanks.